<laughs> hey guys, welcome back again to Big Dipper. My name's Jason. Yeah, I'm Adrian. And we're getting back into it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Maybe I <laughs> maybe I would even get my first love letter there and they would ask me for a prom dance and maybe I'll even have my first kiss. You know we could have our prom dance here. It feels weird to talk about that now. <laughs> It's all in the past, but I can't shake off the thought that I've missed something really important. Something that I won't have a second chance at in my life. If Andrew throws a prom for her, this game is bullshit. Yeah. Because <laughs> Andrew is a well, horrible there's, human. Well, there's no guarantee everything would have gone according to your plans anyways. I don't have any warm memories of my castmates. Yeah, get over it, girl, with your broken leg and flinging out the window. Even though I've spent good 11 years with them. And the girls, you know, they can be even scarier than boys. They're extremely jealous. They'd ruin your life without flinching just because you're smarter or well-liked by boys. So your problems don't amount to mine. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's a blessing you avoided all of that. It's better to regret something you've done than to regret something you'd wished you've done. Yeah, bro. Hey, man, girl, preach it. A cheerful jingle changed into oh, a God. slow dance tune. When exactly? Just a mad, just a mad dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the words slipped out of my mouth before I could think. What did I say just now? Why? I wanted to disappear from embarrassment. My cheeks were so hot, you could probably fry stuff on them. I do. Her Whoa. face was as red as mine. I bet we'd both feel much more relaxed if I just ran into the forest. Yeah, go, go do that. <laughs> and didn't come back. Ever. And he did. The end. Totally different artist. I held out my hand. It was shaking so hard it was almost uncontrollable. Julia didn't seem scared or confused. She gently touched the palm of my hand and the shaking subdued, and then I bit her. <laughs> I hope you won't regret that. I really like that chord. Sorry. Yeah? There's like a chord progression they're doing, and it's... This one, I think? No. It's like a weird minor. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. It was my first time being this intimate with a girl. We were so close, I could make out every single hair in her head. No, we don't get to hear it again. Julia didn't look up at me, but I could feel the warmth coming from her fossey. And the music got deafening. Ah! <laughs> I know. You see, you don't need to go to school or ha to have your prom dance. Yeah. And it's not the only place to look for friends. My voice was unnaturally low and silent. Julia was also speaking quietly, but I could hear her every word. That's why our friends were the only hermit. I'm well, it just turned out that way. We're both not the most <laughs> We're both not the most experienced in the matter. But you should know it's hard to find friends or your most important person. I bet a lot of guys would love to go out with you. You'd rather be beautiful. You're not <laughs> God is creepy. Why, thank you. Oh, God. <gasps> but that's not it. What do you mean? We're not looking for people who need us. We're looking for the ones we need. Wow. Thanks, music. You really drove that home. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no difference if someone is interested in you when the feeling isn't mutual. Man, what are you with that? Sorry. It's oh, that yeah? Chord. Hold on. I think they'll play it again. Da, 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 da. This one. Yeah. 
Okay. It is a minor chord. Many would argue with that. But you won't. The aroma wafting from her hair made me feel a bit dizzy. I miraculously avoided stepping on Julia's feet. A dazzling success for my first time dancing. It felt like we we moved. Yeah. It, uh, uh, it felt like we moved around the same spot for eternity. I really wish the music kept playing, and I'd lo <laughs> I'd love to do it some more. If only I hadn't discovered that the song was long over. Yeah, okay. no joke. And with it, the ephemeral atmosphere of sincerity. Why can't you continue to be sincere after the song? We exchanged awkward glances and got back to decorating the room. After finishing with that, we returned to the first floor. It was warm on one side by the fire and by the other, 2K for now. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh, this Julia room doesn't look at half as creepy as it used to. And poked her head inside like she owned the place. Yeah, it's this whole game's warm now. Well, it's not much. Aren't you expecting guests? Just a single guest. Wait, just a single guest? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when I get into uh, <clears throat> moments where I'm opening my heart to someone, I get really low. <laughs> yeah, my real voice happens. Yeah, my internal voice happens. Uh, she's not coming here to have a cup of tea, you know. And it's not like you have anything to go with tea anyway. Isn't Nicholas coming? And I think you just don't know how much of a normal person eats. Cheapskate. Where'd you get that from? And there's enough to feed eight people here. There. All right, I'll think of something. Just don't disturb me. Get I, I gladly promised I won't interrupt her or even go inside the kitchen while she cooks. My body fell out the window. <laughs> <laughs> but what was I supposed to do in the meantime? I've thought of working, but quickly decided against the idea. Because I'm an absolute jackass, it would be wasteful to disturb the order of my workplace. I grabbed a book with the tales of the North instead. This... This book is a collection of stories on existing creatures. The mediator is to be tasked with refreshing the knowledge every 50 years. Isn't it a bit too serious for a preface? Did you say something? Do you know who the mediator is? No, what about it? Nothing, I was just curious. The first creature in the book was the forest witch, Yamma. Living in a hut deep inside the forest, she used to eat human children, but the great Osh later prohibited that, threatening to drive her out of the woods. The witch reluctantly agreed and started catching beasts and birds to use their blood and vitality potions to prolong her life. There was a drawing depicting a slim, tall lady with a very clean... Wait, with a very keen look. Her age was impossible to identify. Your witch almost looks like Baba <laughs> Yaga. A lot more beautiful, though. <laughs> Baba Yaga! <laughs> like who? Like who? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Baba Yaga, you know, the crone who lives in a hut on chicken legs. I'm Baba Yaga-chan. Pleased to meet you, boss. What's that nonsense? Julia looked at me like I was an idiot. Rightfully so. Come on, she's from a classic fairy tale. Have you never really heard of her? She saved Christmas with Cthulhu. Yes, she did. <laughs> Was I supposed to? Oh, yes. Bobby Yaga! <laughs> Parents scare their children with her all the time. I, for I didn't realize that's who you were talking about. <laughs> Holy crap. Mine only told me the forest witch. Mine only told me of the forest witch. I have a couple of questions for your grandpa then, but I can understand why you feared her so much. This stare would make the blood freeze in one's veins. And we have your grandma to thank for that. Drawing her in such a way was completely unnecessary. The witch was even scarier in the old version. The old version? Grandma didn't make up these stories. She took them from another book. It was quite battered, so she decided to rewrite it. 
A fip. I flipped through a couple more pages. Leshy, Domovoy were continuing the lists, but I already knew, knew of them thanks to Slavic folklore, so I put the book away. You can't seriously believe in all that. Have you read the part about the forest spirit? The household one or the water one? Uh, about Osh. I've decided to leave that magnificent experience for later. Well, it's your loss. By the way, which salad should I make? Why even make them? I don't need salad. Then why have you bought the vegetables? I eat them raw. They're more useful that way. Like a salad? You eat them raw because you are bad at cooking. As you wish. As you wish. <laughs> I like to think of Andrew sitting on the couch in that room full of filth and the darkness, <laughs> backlit by his 2K Fernell. Just mo like Mo Dog on a bag of salad greens. <laughs> And you can't only be thinking about yourself. What if your mom likes salad? Does she? I don't know. I don't remember. Ask your grandpa, though. I'll answer that. And I'll answer right away. Oh, ask about your grandpa, though. It's just he's my grandpa, not yours. And don't forget, you've promised to tell me everything about him. I don't even know how you met each other. You didn't ask. I'm asking now. Yeah, you big old doof. He picked me up off the street, saved from starvation. I thought you found yourself a decent job after you left home. True. When work ran out in one place, I would get reassigned to another town and then to another one, and so on. I visited half the country, and then I got here. I was promised bad living conditions and good pay, but I was given neither. As soon as I got here, the facility went under, and a lot of people were left without a job. Local folk knew their way around here and were fast to find new jobs, but strangers like me had no place to turn to. I had been renting an apartment a, a a for some time looking for a job. And then I found my suitcase before the door. It turned out that my landlady was renting an, a, a, an apartment <laughs> of her wandering son. And well, he came back. I got my suitcase, but all of my money stayed in his pockets. It's quite ironic. Was I to keep my job then, I would have been among these woodcutters. Wow. Hmm. Nothing ironic about that. What happened next? Did Grandpa find you then? Almost. I spent a whole day at a bus stop. I was exhausted. Thought the whole world turned against me. You know, just typical life stuff. I was in this cold <laughs> land without a job, without a place to live, without any money. So I gave up. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to her face. She's very angry right now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But the cold was too strong, so when the night fell, I started looking for ways to warm myself. I burned random trash in my own belongings. It helped, but not for very long when I ran out of things to burn. I stumbled upon Pop's workshop, so I decided to burn that. I didn't care if, if what I did was right or wrong. I simply broke in, and Pop's found me in the morning, lying on the floor near the fireplace. He gave me two options. Either he reports me to the police, and then they take me to a place where they feed you with cow poo poo, as he put it. Or he teaches me his craft, and I help him around the workshop. I gave my answer almost immediately. Cow poo poo! <laughs> Grandpa amazes me more and more. Does he remind you of that incident regularly? He never once did, actually. I couldn't understand why he gave me a chance in the first place. Every time I asked him, he waved me away and told me that I should just live my life and don't sweat the small stuff. We drank together once, and he went overboard so much he could hardly sit upright. Pops probably doesn't remember this, but before he knocked himself out, he managed to say that he was very happy to find me in the smoking area that morning. I didn't pry anymore. We're very similar in that regard. It's hard for us to share our real problems. Well, now I can understand some things without words, at least. I think you're a very good person. And I think you have a poor opinion. <laughs> hey, are you crying? It's the onion. <laughs> it's all the rain. <laughs> Come on, cut it out. Ju Julia staggered and used the table for support. She was clearly passing out from all the rain and onions. Yeah. What's going on? Are you all right? I've just been... 
I'm making a lasagna for one. <laughs> <laughs> the Fly of the Concourse reference. <clears throat> yes, I just felt a bit drowsy. Maybe you should lie down. I'm fine, don't worry. Well, okay. <laughs> Tell me more about Grandpa. Collapse. Slam. Yeah. I had to bail him out of jail once. He somehow thought it'd be a good idea to wander around a mosque in a Santa Claus costume on New Year's Eve. I churned out one story after another while Julia was cooking, and as it turned out, she had passed out hours ago. Turned out my life became much more lively under the last couple of years, all thanks to Pops, who would laugh at getting his tooth beaten out or at the dove droppings on his truck's windshield. Dove droppings? <laughs> He always stayed positive and managed to cheer me up. Sometimes it was almost like he could really read my thoughts, because that's Santa. That's how good he was at understanding me. Santa Claus. I, on the other hand, only knew the things he deemed worthy of telling me, and these things mostly had to do with his granddaughter. It's almost like he knew I'd fall in love with her one day. The rare moments of sincerity always came in his drunken slumber. They were always unexpected, and I didn't know how to react. Julia listened closely. Like she relieved. Julia listened closely, like she relived every story with me. And when I got tired of monologuing, she spoke up. Okay, it's good. Don't talk anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, what's up, what's with, up the with the guitar, guitar music? <laughs> Is it yours? What's up with the guitar music? <laughs> uh huh. Uh uh. <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> then, who's if oh, not it's yours to be or Grant? Then whose, if not yours or grandpa's? You have no other friends after all. So it's supposed to be nuh uh, like no. Okay. Don't touch my sore spot. It makes my it makes it pops then. <laughs> what? what? It don't touch <laughs> Don't touch my sore spot. <laughs> it, it makes it pops then. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't touch my sore spot, it makes it pops then. <laughs> Don't lie. He never even played a musical instrument. A music instrument. That's awesome. That's oh my god, dude. That's it. That's our moment. That's our. Uh, how does? Uh, how are your destinies? Moment. <laughs> Don't touch my game. sore spot. It makes pops. Uh, makes it pops. <laughs> then. Uh, it makes <clears throat> po it makes it pops. Then yeah. <laughs> it's impossible to hide anything from you. I'd love to hear you play. I haven't touched it in a while, so it's my sore spot. Your choice, the guitar or potatoes. Potatoes, if it involves eating them, involves... Peeling. Peeing? I did that earlier. Give me just a moment. The music stopped. <laughs> I just stopped playing guitar. Let me just adjust the antenna real quick. <laughs> I picked up the guitar, blew off the dust, tugged on the strings, fiddled with tuning keys, did everything to waste time. I didn't want to make a fool of myself before Julia. Come on, play! I pressed down the strings Ooh. and my thumbs became... Screamed with pain, blisters from regular practice were already long gone, so it hurt like the first time. I tried to keep it simple and just plucked at the strings, but that was enough for Julia. She relaxed and swayed with the melody, mumbling something under her nose. Under her nose? <laughs> I, I was calm for the first time in a while. I didn't take the bow off to help mute the strings. Yeah. <laughs> I felt her eyes on me from time to time, but when I looked up, she was doing her own thing without looking my way. I like these chords that are they're using on this yeah one. it's pretty nice the house was filled with the scent of boiled potatoes and fried chicken the scent of my childhood new year days julia noticed me sniffing around let me introduce you that's the smell of edible food it's very nice to meet you edible food Saliva filled my mouth and my guitar. I suddenly remembered <laughs> that I haven't eaten for a very long time. The hunger went away for a while because of recent events, but it was slowly coming back now. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, God, where are oh. the ghosts? <laughs> oh, my God. Julia was cute. I literally my looked over my left shoulder when that fucking violin <laughs> came in. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Julia was keen for my interest. Oh my god. Sorry. <clears throat> Wait for a bit. Your mom will arrive soon. You'll share this meal with her. Did you learn cooking by yourself? Grandma taught me. Tell me something about her. Pops keeps his mouth shut all the time. She was cool and could seemingly do everything. She could cook, draw, sing. And how does she meet Pops? <laughs> how did she meet Pops? Oh, it's a funny story. Grandpa worked as a driver. One day, he was tasked with driving a mayor's daughter to another city. And this daughter was your grandma? Yes. Grandpa suddenly stopped the engine during the trip. Well, he said, it broke down. Polar night. Not a single soul in the vicinity. Horribly cold. Grandma panicked, and he just replied with, The laborers will drive by in the morning. They'll pick us up. Uh, but we have to keep ourselves warm. And if we fall asleep, we'll freeze to death. So they just sat there all night talking. And come morning, he told her that the car was absolutely fine. What a fucking <gasps> move, huh? Grandma, <laughs> Grandma complained to her father after it was over. And he didn't have to think twice. Just use his connections to throw Grandpa in jail. But Grandma took, it, took a liking to the driver. So she begged her father to release him. What the hell? It's called Stockholm Syndrome. Not one night it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Don't act so smart, jackass. And did they release Pops? Not immediately. They beat him mercilessly. <laughs> they took him to the whipping post. Uh, the father told her... Okay, the father told her that she would need to ask him once more in two months, and then he'll do it. And they created the sore spot. Sounds legit. <laughs> of course, Grandma came back in two months with the same request. And then they built this house and lived here together until Grandma died. So sweet. Knowing Pops, this story is quite easy to believe, but I still don't get why he keeps getting in trouble all the time. How does he think those things up? I mean, does he ever hesitate? He certainly doesn't hesitate that bad. He certainly <laughs> didn't hesitate that time. He uh, knew it would happen because he had seen it in a dream. He knew that his destined the, to that meet show, a girl he, showed his he would love till the end of his days, and he also knew that that no, that with that. Oh my God! <laughs> <sighs> it's the it's the strings, dude. It is the strings, dude. They're fucking. In my skull. <laughs> he knew that he is destined to meet a girl he would love till the end of his days, and he also knew that no harm would come from him stopping that engine. It's weird because it's mixing like past tense and present tense, like it is willy it nilly is. in the in the. Um, yeah, in her dialogue. Yeah. yeah. He knew that it was necessary to spend a couple of months in jail, and that the girl would bail him out. He knew everything. You can't take dreams that seriously. You just haven't seen prophetic dreams. You're romanticizing it. I stopped playing guitar. We all left the kitchen quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Julia kept on swaying and almost fell. Good thing the fridge was behind her. What's wrong? I don't feel so good. My pumpkin carriage is reverting. Yeah, <laughs> it's 12. Oh, God. Tired? Don't know. Here, sit. For bump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I checked the oven and led Julia by the hand towards the sofa. I'm so dizzy. A gust of wind shook the windows. Her body fell out them. 
<laughs> and there's the promised blizzard. Are you an old lady reacting to weather like that? I'm not sure. It feels like all the strength just left my body. Hey, keep it together, please. What would I say to Pops? I need to rest for a bit. Get a wink of sleep. I sat on the floor beside the fireplace. Sure, what is the thing I need to read about? Osh, the forest spirit. Okay. <laughs> I found the right page without trouble. Its entry is much larger compared to the other creatures. For some reason, I started reading it aloud. Osh is the forest guardian spirit in the form of a bear. In ancient times, he, the son of God Inna, disobeyed his father and descended upon earth, tempted by local food and women. Looks like it. As a punishment, Anna, Inna forbade him to ever return to the heavens, and Osh settled down to the forest, where the things to feast on were plentiful. By thanking you, by te, by te, by te thank you for, <laughs> he could visit villages to get food. Once in a century, he picked a woman and took her to the forest. One night under the full moon was enough to bind his chosen to Osh, so she would guard the northern forests alongside him. Osh knows the animal language, can see the future, and will healing magic. Just to name a few of his abilities, can be passed down to his children. Nowadays, Osh lies in endless slumber, guarding the entrance to the Shadow Realm. However, the forest is never left unguarded. At the start of every cycle, the bear marks a new guardian with the forest spirit, and they keep watch until they're no longer capable of it. <laughs> Julia, can you turn the radio down, please? I'm trying yeah. to read. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Until you're no longer capable. Sounds like a job without pay that you can't ditch. And why do you think that Pops is the said guardian? Why do you think Pops... What do you think? To hinky. <laughs> <laughs> he can see the future. And if it wasn't him who stood up for the forest ten years ago, then who? Besides, his is grandma's stories. That's just something you really want to believe in. I'll admit, there are a lot of coincidences... Almost enough to convince me. Seriously? And you only believe in what you see, don't you? Uh, I guess so. Then we just have to visit that place. <sighs> Julia let out a big yawn. Should we go there and see for ourselves? You can hardly keep your eyes open. I was just lay down for ten minutes. How is this new? Without without realizing it, Julia reduced her voice into a whisper. Oh man, I'm getting close. I'm getting really close to these these cues before the cues. <laughs> yeah, you are. Sleep until Pops gets here. But I don't want to. She acted like a spoiled kid. As you wish, I'll go get you a blanket. Aw. I went upstairs. Couldn't you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> having someone to take care of us, oh, t having someone to take care of was unexpectedly pleasant. There hadn't been a single soul in this house apart from me for a good while, and I was sure that I had no need for company, but Julia's appearance did not bring any discomfort into my life. Quite the contrary, it was hard to imagine living without her, and to think Pops will take her away so soon. I wanted the time to stop. I'd love to play the guitar for her while she would be dancing and singing along. I'd talk to her about anything in the world. But I couldn't do it because I put more Christmas decorations around the neck. <laughs> <laughs> We'd decorate the tree together again, and I'd read her books. I concluded that letting her go was an awful idea, and perhaps asking her and Pops to join the celebration would be a better one the more the merrier, and that would surely make the atmosphere less awkward and less noirish between me and Mom. <laughs> Though, they certainly deserve their fair share of time and privacy. And I should also have a tete-a-tete -tete conversation with Mom. <laughs> Probably. I went back- Was that a noise? Was that a sound effect? No, that was me. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. The, ah, that's it. Yeah, that was okay. me. I went back. Dawn, Dawn was stars to ask Julia if she wanted to stay since she cooked enough for a platoon of hungry soldiers and you couldn't possibly eat that much with just two people. But she was not there. She was neither beside the fireplace, nor was she in the kitchen, nor was she in the house with the mouse. There weren't many <laughs> places where we could miss each other in this house. She was gone. The blanket was lying on the floor, and her outside clothes were her inside clothes where she left them. Oh, God. Let's call this an episode. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good place. <laughs> we'll see you next time in the kitchen. Bye. <laughs>